Aquarius, this is all about you. This is your weekly oracle and tarot card reading from Born Without Boundaries. This is a um, this is an energy reading, not a horoscope. So this is an intuitive reading using oracle cards. So this is for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Mars, Mercury, Uranus, Pluto, wherever Aquarius energy influences your natal chart, you can apply these themes and energies. Now, you can also apply it outside of yourself. So say you're dealing with an Aquarius, it's definitely applicable there too. Pull up a chair, this reading is for you. This reading always comes with a part two, which is an extended reading. That link is in the description box below. It extends, expands, and articulates this reading, going into specifics, player specifics, and um, 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 it personalizes the reading more is what it really does. So if you're looking for a more personal reading, which I do provide, I provide for personal readings, but sometimes you know, you can't really, you can't really um, afford a full personal reading. This is a more personal option. Uh, it also includes a full romance reading as well. And once again, the link is in the description box below. Please do click subscribe to this channel because I upload a new Aquarius video every single week. So if you want it fresh off the press, just click on that link. You can ring that bell and you'll get notified as soon as your favorite content comes up. Thank you so much for your continued support of the channel. This is why you're in the top three, and it's why I'm so grateful. So Aquarius, let's get down to this. Oh, okay. I was only asking for a little, but you gave me a lot. So amen, hallelujah, I love you too. Oh, let's get your crowning energy. All right, oh, right, stop. Oh, 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 okay. So, crowning energy is short-sighted, and it could be intentional. This is let spirit be your guide, energy of five. There is a change, a different change, a change in the way that you see things or a change in the way that the world works and you see it and you see that it needs to change. It's almost like the crowning energy of your reading is all the little things like your list that you're marking down of the way that the world needs to change. These are, these are, um, philosophical, um, 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 uh, like, uh, like rubs, it's it's like philosophical change, philosophical changes, or or things that you see are creating dissonance in the world. A sense of um, a sense of understanding, or maybe seeing un like seeing sh short sightedness, or the shortcomings of a specific person. So your eyes are on this right now. It's 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 heavily focused on what needs to be different or making changes uh maybe on a small scale one by one but definitely starting the chipping away process it's almost like it's almost like planning the demolition right it's like a sense of what needs to go you know i know what needs to go i'll figure out what needs to stay later but there's a strong sense of what needs something's got to give and you know where it's got to give or be given but there is a sense also of short-sightedness here so it could be on your part or it could be on the part of somebody else maybe deciding something needs to be changed without really looking into it enough to decide that it needs to be changed so there is a little bit of a caveat a little bit of a warning here that says that says watch out because you could feel or want changes to come but if you rush into it you may not have seen everything that it was connected to and decided to switch it's not that the things don't need to change or need to switch but they're a lot more complicated than you thought so hold up on the demolition sledgehammer like don't go in there with a freaking sledgehammer is what I'm saying. It's like in terms of the changes that you want to make, you can't see everything that they're going to affect, the ripple effect that's going to come afterward. So whatever changes you're going to start this week, don't go in with a sledgehammer. Go in with like, I don't know, maybe a pickaxe. <laughs> in some cases, maybe just like a little, ding, 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 like, like li almost like you're testing. You know what I'm saying? It's like, before you go in to demo something, you really want to get the structural readouts of the building so that 
you when the demolition goes down it goes down correctly instead of causing even more trouble you know because the reason for the demolition we're like let's let's use this extended met come with me aquarius on this extended metaphor the reason for this this demolition is because shit's gotta go like something doesn't belong anymore but you don't want to hurt the good stuff you don't want to take out the building next door that was just fine and that you really can't afford to reconstruct right so this is a sense of watch out for short-sightedness because your instincts and intuition are correct but it's almost like you're not really understanding or somebody that you're dealing with is not really understanding all the ripple effects that are going to come from it. So don't go at any changes um, right now with a sledgehammer. You want to go like with a little ding, 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 little maybe a little pickaxe, just a little bits at a time to sort of almost like exploratory surgery, see what the heck is going on underneath. You don't want to trip off any wires. You don't want to meet, you don't want to, strike any main water veins that are going to cause more trouble than you were even willing to get into <clears throat> okay um take a leap of faith so this is a sense of get ready definitely move forward this is a sense of luck being on your side and, and maybe the luckiest thing this week is that this message came through to you to be like oh okay i'm gonna stay my hand it's not that i'm not gonna move forward in fact, that this card is telling you, you should move forward, but go slow. Take one step at a time. It's actually a really good move. You're almost guiding the process, Aquarius, and spirit is standing back like, all right, just you lead me. Tell me where you want to go. But don't, in other words, so don't sledgehammer it, right? Because your viewpoint is limited just because you're a human, right? So there is a sense of little leaps, little leaps, little leaps, but definitely take the leap and listen to your conscience this is a little jiminy cricket card that pops up and says listen to your conscience yes do the right thing but listen to that small voice inside of you it's so easy sometimes to overlook that small voice especially when we're super hyped or super psyched uh, super excited about something but there is a sense aquarius that your conscience really like you need to like slow it down for a second and your conscience is something that you really need to listen to this week you see clearly now but you don't this is about being lost in the dark this is about getting the wrong impression of something and wanting to leap on the wrong impression instead of taking time out and looking at the right one so you really have to do more investigation and see things clearly because this is a sense of almost like a, making a stupid decision making an impulsive decision this is aquarian energy and it's flipped in reverse so it could very well be the misapplication of aquarius energy i just want to go in there and save the world but you don't really know what you're saving and in trying to save the world you're doing something wrong and actually messing it up even worse so sit back and maybe understand that you don't understand things to the full extent that you need to um whoo be at home uh, maybe you're not seeing something very clearly with what's happening in your heart space. It could be very unclear to you right now, or you could be intentionally trying to avoid something that's going on right here. But there is a sense of not being able to be home or not actually being home, being distance or distancing yourself from home in order to gain perspective. It's almost like um, maybe you were being suffocated or something was too much. There's a sense of uh, uh, being at a distance so that you can gain perspective. Um, and then use your mind wisely is your central energy. Beautiful energy to have as a central energy. Because this is, you can make the impossible happen when pigs fly. Or maybe something that you never thought was going to be real or possible is now happening. So there is a sense of beautiful things coming and happening. But, but with the caveat that you use your mind correctly. You don't... Um, it's almost like don't invest in things that sound ridiculous at the same time. If you go slow, if you go steady, if you aim that pickaxe correctly, you could make the impossible happen. So it's not that things aren't happening or unfolding or probable. It's that it's the way it's the modality that's going to affect how amazing the outcome is not the modality it's um the execution that's going to affect the outcome um time to let go 
Um, this is something that you've been holding on to, something that's been bugging you, bothering you. This is scorpionic energy. So um, holding on to things for a really long time, maybe even holding on to grudges. Um, a sense of being able to finally release something that you never thought that would end. Something is finally coming to an end and it's sort of official. A sense of, um, you know, it's been going on for a while and you may have felt stuck with it, but it's definitely been, and even if you don't feel stuck with it, it's been, it's been bugging you. It's been, it's been gnawing. If you see the card, it's been gnawing at your heart. Um, and it's been there for a long time because it's got the energy of four. Hold on. Which means that it's 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 almost like there is a sense of, I'm sorry, I'm trying to steady the camera, like long term. Excuse me, there's been like a sense of long term. This has been going on for a while. Something's been letting, but um, learn from the past. This is finally able to move on and move forward. Um, could be Taurus. No, this is finally being able to break through. Finally being able to move on and get out of a circumstance or a situation that's been holding. You're finally moving on from a, a situation that wasn't working for you. And that is a good thing, Aquarius. But if you tramp, you, you also run the potential of trampling things down because you run away too quickly or you don't handle things, um, you don't handle things properly, right? So there is a sense of, okay, yes, you are supposed to be moving on. Take a leap of faith is here, but you're not supposed to be flying blind. You're supposed to take all the experience that you have and use it so that you don't completely lose it or you don't completely trample on those flowers that you didn't want to trample on, those buildings that you didn't want to bring down. If you take things slow and use your mind like wisely and steadily, you will be able to let go of the past and have a beautiful future. But the caveat is if you rush into it, you could seriously things up. Sometimes life stings. This is a, a painful time for you. It's a time of transition. Um, you feel like there's a, the world maybe even bugging you. This is a sense of something bugging you, something getting to you. Which is probably why it's almost like this. It's like that little gadfly nipping at the butt of the elephant, and the elephant just wants to charge forward and stand. It's like it's it's the irritation is causing a stampede or is threatening to cause a stampede, and that's why the card is telling you, I know you want to stampede, Aquarius, but use your mind wisely, control it, whisk it away. It's just a fly. I know it's I know it's bothering you. I know it's bugging you and it's hurting you, but you literally can just whisk this away with your tail, swat it away. It's not as big of a problem as sort of the irritation it's causing. And to go at this strategically is the way to handle it, not to just start stampeding and let it let it like err make you go crazy and then you're going to be like part of the problem. Mm. Uh, time for a beginner mind. Admit that you don't know what you're doing. Um, not necessarily that you don't know what you're doing. No, no, stop. Admit that you're new here. Admit that, that this is a new time for you and that, yeah, there is a sense of being a little bit defensive, being a little bit more aggressive, a little bit showing off all that you have because you've never been at this in this time before and you feel vulnerable. So it's almost like your vulnerability could be playing on you here. So there's a sense of needing to feel grounded, needing to feel protected, almost brandishing how you can protect yourself. Brandishing your armor is making you feel a little bit more solid right now. Um, now is a lucky time. So your abundance is multiplying and things could be moving relatively quickly. So there is a sense that there's no, there's no need for you to add momentum that, that the momentum is just going to keep gaining without you. And so kind of taking it, your foot off of the accelerator is, is proper or else you're going to be moving too fast. This is also a sense of um, family multiplying. So this could be a new baby coming into your life, a sense of finding out that you're pregnant, finding out that, you know, um, I don't know, somebody close to you is. This is a sense or just multiplying abundance, but having it come in so quickly, you don't know what to do with it. Um, trust the great mystery. This is 11. Uh, a very Aquarian energy, I feel, just 
brought opening up opening up to infinite possibilities allowing yourself to dive into the unknown and the infinite possibilities around you so basically a leap of faith which you've gotten twice now because you've got grasshopper spirit as well um and then aquarius bring your ideas to life so really trusting that what you feel is correct and absolutely going for it just not flinging yourself at it okay so and what i say in the reading this is a hundred percent aquarius saying 15 15 so there is a divine counterpart here there is a sense of yes this is supposed to happen yes it wants to happen but the execution is 100 percent going to determine if this is a failure or you fall on your face hold on i'm going to show you the cards and there you go See, this is your grounding energy and your grounding energy is the knowledge and understanding that yes, this is, this is a place that I've never been before. <laughs> this is, and it's supposed to happen. There's a newness and it's almost like refreshing. Like you're ready for this new thing to start. You're so ready, but whatever you have to get out of your way to get that, to get to, to get to that new beginning, to get to the ocean, to hold on this sense of. Whatever you need to just dive into, it's, it's how you, you feel it. But the thing is this, you may feel it so intensely that you want to like throw yourself in and throwing yourself in could get you into a lot of trouble. So there is a sense of trusting the flow, trusting the idea process, but not letting irritations or fear fear of maybe this won't happen or maybe this won't come true or even fear or irritation of something that's been building over a long period of time um, could have something to do with um, something that you've been holding on to because elephants never forget. There is a sense of it's it's been building up over time. Um, maybe, uh, um, hold on. Yeah. Oh, so a, a sense of it been building over time, you know, and it been bothering you for a long time, which is why now you're just ready to be done with it. Um, but using sort of your sense of maturity and what you know about the circumstance to stay your hand and don't swing so quickly. This is a sense of, of, almost needing to get away for a while. That's what I feel like you're doing right now. Um, needing to relieve yourself and be someplace where their energy is refreshing instead of stagnation. It would be a good thing for you to do because there is a sense now of you deciding the direction and spirit supporting you as long as it's not a sense of short sightedness. You don't want to be short, short, short sighted. Let's go into, um, Let's go into the extended reading. I'm going to just draw out more specifics on this whole reading and then also do your romance reading. Let's get at least one romance card to kind of see where that energy is going. Uh, yeah. Consider your foundation. There's a destabilization in your home. So there could be a sense of a breakup. There could be a sense of a shakeup. There could be a sense of, do I really, really want what I have? Do I, do I really want, like, I know that I have a lot, but there is a sense of something destabilizing that sense of what it is that you want could have been something in the past. Look at how committed you are to love. This is when it comes upside down, it's almost like could be divorce. And then we have this other card that's come upside down, which is also things have been hiding. There's things, truths that are coming out that are basically, this is what you could be running from. And this is why you could have been sort of tucking your tail or they could have tucked their tail or a sense of having to get away from them because you've just discovered things or they've just discovered things. You're not ready to confront right now, but it's going to change everything. So we'll get further into that information in the extended. The link is below. I'll see you over there, Aquarius.